TickTick has just released version 4.0 for Mac and in the last couple months 6.0 for iOS. And I'm going to show you some of the top new features which I think are very exciting and make for a very compelling productivity app. Let's take a look at the new Mac version of TickTick. Some of this is going to look similar and some of this is going to look quite different. First of all, TickTick still gives you the ability to have this multi-panel display, which I think is very attractive. I think that uh, it just it makes it easier to conceptualize things. Plan out the retreat for members. Let me tell you what I mean. For example, over here, step one, step two, step three, so I like this multi-panel uh, display, but the other thing that I think is attractive and just is a great option is it lets you write in Markdown. Um, don't forget about the Canva graphics. And that's something that not every application does. Certainly Todoist, certainly uh, Nosby, but you're just not gonna find that in a lot of other places. I guess Culture Code Things 3 just introduced that, but a little late to the party. So that's something that's new. The other thing that I think is quite nice is this ability to pin particular projects to the top of this left panel. So for example, and I can remove a pin or I can add a pin. Why is that important? Because when you're coming into your project manager, you really don't wanna to have to think too hard, right? And so I think that's nice, uh, the ability to just move these around, unpin, pin, whatever. The other thing that's quite nice on TickTick for Mac version 4.0 is this new search feature. It's just more robust than it ever was before. And of course, you can still uh, use your time blocking by pulling whatever projects and lists you want to wherever in your particular calendar. So that is TickTick 4.0 for Mac. All the things behind the scenes are still the kinds of things that you would uh, expect from, from TickTick. Lots of customization, lots of options, but I think for now this sums up some of the basics of this particular update. Okay, so here is TickTick on iOS. This is version 6.0. And you'll see that these are the exact same tasks that I just had open on TickTick on the Mac. A couple of things that are similar to prior versions and some things that are new. First of all, I really like this idea when I pull down from the top to refresh, it just gives you that little animation, very nice. You can customize anything on this bottom uh, panel here, whether you wanna have your Pomodoro set up or your calendar or all kinds of things, settings, you name it. I think that's very attractive, but there are a few things that make TickTick really stand out on iOS. So for example, if I wanted to um, capture a new item and uh, this week booklet, you'll notice that TickTick does enter in my natural language, but in this case, I don't actually want natural language. It's just that my booklet is called this week. So I'm gonna enter that. And if I click on it again, <clears throat> what TickTick allows me to do is to scan that particular item or a document. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's find it. And I think TickTick does a very nice job of saving that particular item. So there it is, that's a booklet called This Week. So that's a feature that I think is pretty fantastic. Uh, and there are a couple of other features as well, including, which we saw on TickTick on the Mac, the ability to pin a particular item towards the top. Now, TickTick is also very good when it comes to setting Pomodoros. And uh, one thing that's kind of new uh, that I think is a nice, nice feature is I can set a Pomodoro and then I can put it on its side, tap it, and then maybe put it on my desk or right in front of wherever I'm working, uh, my workspace. And I think this is quite nice. Not only that I have a Pomodoro active in the background, but it's actually shifted over to horizontal and I see the numbers ticking down. These are just some of the things that I think really set TickTick apart from a number of other productivity apps. And I really am excited that they have just updated iOS and now finally the Mac version has caught up to it. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video, and um, I will certainly see you next time. If TickTick -Tick has other updates or other applications that we've talked about on this channel before, we'll make sure that we update those as well. Take care.